Stinger transitions are quick transitions that can help brand your live video productions with the logo of your company or organization. It's really easy to create your own, and in this video, we will show you how. First, open Adobe After Effects and make a new composition. Choose the resolution and frame rate that you use with your switcher. After you import your logo or graphic that you want to have appear for your transition, make another new composition for your transition layer. Drag the logo into your transition layer. If the logo is transparent and doesn't have a background, you can make one. Right click, select new, then select solid. You can choose the color that works best with your logo. Then drag the solid layer below your logo. Click the tab on the far left of your logo layer and use transform to adjust its position. Next, click on your Stinger transition composition and drag your transition layer into it. Change the sequence settings to the same frame rate you are using for your switcher and choose two seconds for the duration. Next, under your effects and presets tab, choose Linear Wipe and add it to your transition layer. Click on the small circle next to Transition Completion to enable keyframes. Set the starting keyframe to 100% and a keyframe 30 frames later to 0%. This will create a wipe transition to bring in your logo. You can customize the wipe angle. Next, add a second linear wipe to your layer. Enable keyframes and create a keyframe set to 0%, about 30 frames before the end of your sequence, and create another one set to 100% at the end. This will create a wipe transition that will take away your logo. Customize the transition layer and logo, and when you're finished, it's time to export. Click on File, then Export, and then Add to Render Queue. Click the Settings tab and change the format to PNG Sequence which is the best format for importing the transition into data video switchers. Then, change channels to RGB plus alpha. Select the output destination where your file will save and create a folder for it. Then, collect render to create your transition. You can now use the folder with your Stinger transition to import into a data video switcher. For a tutorial on how to import and use Stinger transitions, there is a link in the description below, along with the current list of supported switchers. We hope this video was helpful for you. Follow us on social media for more videos, and we will see you on the next Tech Tip Tuesday.